Now the Swiss Tech Uberall has not been out for that long. Already, some people have mentioned that it is on sale at their local Walmart. Let's dive into, is this comparable or better than tools from Roxxon and Nextool? Now let's dive into a couple of the Swiss Tech's features real quick. We've got the file on the outside. We've got some measurements. We've got a pair of tweezers that you just grab with the edge of your fingernail. They come out. You also push out the clip like so. We've got spring loaded pliers. On this side, we've got a knife. On this side, we've got a pair of scissors. We'll get more into that later. Then on this handle right here, we have got a pair of Phillips, uh, a Phillips screwdriver right there, and also a can opener, bottle cap lifter right there. So that is what the Swiss Tech Uberall offers. Now at the beginning, I was willing the Swiss Tech Uberall to be a great competitor to the SOG PowerPoint and the Power Leader. We need more options in this category, but unfortunately it really isn't. It's too small. It's more of a keychain multi-tool. I guess that's why they have this clip on it as well. It does come in very similar to the Gerber dime length if you count in the can opener or the Roxxon M2 or the Nextool 10 in one, the mini flagship or the, uh, the mini Sailor Pro right there as well. All these really are pretty good competitors to the Swiss Tech. So we've talked about size, pretty much these are all competitive to some extent when we talk about the size range. Now, when it comes to price, most of these are all in the $30 range. Now that surprised me. I think prices have gone up and I didn't really realize that. I know everything else has, but I haven't been paying attention to this keychain segment as much. Now with the Gerber Dime, you can still find this for maybe about $25 on Amazon. The Nextool Mini Sailor for about $23. Both the Roxxon M2 and the Nextool Mini Flagship are around that $30 range, as is the Swiss Tech. These are all pretty much in that same $20 to $30 category. So 2.5 ounces or 2.4 ounces with the Swiss Tech. Also, I guess it's about the same as the Gerber Dime, actually. Both about the same weight. And then the rest are a little bit heavier with the Nextool Mini Sailor coming in at three ounces. Then I think the next one is the uh, Mini Flagship at three ounces. So that's actually a little bit lighter or about the same size. Then the Roxxon M2 comes in the heaviest. Let's go ahead and change this to grams for those overseas. There we go. So the heaviest, 118 grams, 83 grams, 83 grams. Then we've got 68 grams and 68, 69. Okay. All these aren't extremely wide apart, but you do have a class where the Swiss Tech is more with the Gerber Dime. These are a tiny bit heavier than the Roxxon is definitely the heaviest of the lot. Now let's jump into one of perhaps the most important categories I think will be is scissors. There is a huge difference. I think this is the biggest difference in this keychain lineup is scissors. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of times I don't need huge shears. So just cutting paper might be enough for me, but let's go ahead, especially for a keychain multi-tool, let's go ahead and, I don't know, cut this rubber. Uh, yeah, sort of, not that great. Then let's go ahead and get into the strap. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm going to grab some paracord, also a zip tie. Let's see, 
I can cut the zip tie, but it doesn't feel very good with this paracord. Eventually, I can slice through. All right, let's go ahead and graduate to the Gerber dime. This one right here. These scissors don't look that much different, actually. We'll do the scissors to start out with on the paper. All right, that seems to work fairly well. Let's graduate to the bicycle inner tube. These are actually, yeah, these, these aren't doing very well at all on that. Let's check out the zip tie. See how, yeah, not doing the zip tie. Not doing the paracord either. The Gerber dime so far has the worst set of scissors of the lot. These, I think uh, the Gerber dime is used. That might be part of the issue. Now, I'm trying to remember where the scissors are. Here we go. We've got the scissors on this. This has a sort of weird system. There we go. These are fairly small looking, but if I remember, these scissors aren't too bad. Let's go ahead and start with the paper. All right. Yeah, already feels a lot better, actually, these pair of scissors. They are smaller, but they feel a lot slicier. Just chop through the inner tube. Wow, yeah, they do a good job with the zip tie. Let's see, very small, but yeah, they really bite into your finger though. That's the unfortunate thing with this, this tab right here really bites into your finger. It's just, it's so small. Does a great job though. Yeah, even can cut right through there. Good job with that, definitely. A good set of scissors, excellent for a keychain multi-tool. Now, this one right here, I would expect to be one of the better ones because it's got a gigantic set of scissors. Obviously, it's got to be able to cut paper, slices right through paper. Let's do the, the uh, inner tube, slices right through that. Let's, yeah, cuts right into there. Slices right through there. Very, very good. Then paracord. Yeah, just, my, Yeah, great job with the paracord, definitely. Now, the last one we have is the Roxon. It's been a little while since I've used this one. I think this has the biggest set of scissors right there. Those are pretty gigantic looking. Then... Yeah, just chawls right through there. These are, I don't know, I guess it doesn't feel quite as good, but it's a good set of scissors. It works. All right, cuts right through there. I think it just has a different feel to it. Maybe I should use it this way. No. Actually, so it cuts through. Yeah, so it cuts through. I wasn't holding it right, but when I held it right, it did cut through. I still have to say that I sort of prefer maybe the uh, the mini flagship to the Roxon M2, but both of them are really good. All three of these are pretty good. These two are pretty bad. If you want something other than just paper or thin plastic cutters, that's where we are on the scissors. So I will be doing some manipulating with this wire back and forth to sort of see how these pliers work. I need to grab it toward the bottom right here so I get as much strength as possible. Let's go ahead and start right here. Grab it down here. Go back and forth. Gerber Dime does okay. Then let's try to grab this coat hanger wire. Yeah, it Oh, I guess it sort of works, but yeah, you don't have too much strength right there. I don't really want to break the dime. Let's bring in the Swiss Tech, do the same thing with it. Grab it at the bottom where it's strongest back and forth. That feels fine with the 16 gauge fence wire. Then go ahead, move on to the copper. Actually, they feel a little bit better than the dime so far. That works. Now let's go ahead and grab this coat hanger wire. Oh, wow, those handles really bite in 
Obviously, this is a keychain multi-tool trying to do. You can bend it, but it's not extremely confident inspire, confidence inspiring. Let's move on to the next tool, uh, Mini Sailor. These do a good job there. Let's go ahead, do the copper wire. Again, these are a little bit smaller pliers. Do fine back and forth there. Let's try the coat hanger wire. Uh, yeah, not, not really doing it. That doesn't work. Now these, I think, are pretty much the same plier head. So we'll just go ahead, test these out real quick does fine with that. Then when we get to the coat hanger, yeah, it's it really doesn't do that. Now, some of you may be saying, why are you doing this? Well, I'm trying to see how well these work. It's really hard to do real life scenarios. I'm not sure what you guys use your keychain multi-tool for. Now, this is where the Roxxon M2 shines. It's by far got the best set of pliers, by far. The beefiest set of pliers that's where the weight really kicks in nice set of pliers so we've already talked about the tools on the swiss tech overall i want to just really quickly run through the tools on some of these now the gerber dime does have a set of tweezers right here it does have this bottle cap lifter you've got the knife package opener you've got the scissors you've got the file screwdriver and then the other screwdriver this i guess doubles as a sort of phillips screwdriver plus the spring loaded pliers right there as well let's jump on to the next tool mini sailor this one also has spring-loaded pliers. You've got the SIM card ejector, flat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a lot better than the dime right there. Then the scissors, we've got this can opener, bottle cap lifter, the knife, then the pliers as well. Jumping on to the mini flagship. We've got the great set of scissors. Again, we've got this can opener, bottle cap lifter, the knife, the file right here, the a screwdriver in this file on the end they do have a knife right there these as well are spring loaded pliers jumping on to the rock saw this is by far the most tool heavy uh, right here so not only is it the heaviest but it is for good cause you've got the sim card ejector got a very nice definitely the best phillips screwdriver you've got this nail cuticle cleaner right here with the file great set of scissors you've got the knife right there the awl you've got the can opener you've got the package opener you've got the bottle cap lifter yeah, really great set of tools right there on the Roxxon. I have to say that when it comes to the most tools in a keychain tool or a the size of a keychain tool, this one definitely wins the cake with best pliers and best tool set for the M2. This is the hard part of the video. How do we justify recommending or buying the Swiss Tech Uberall when essentially the other tools in the category are so much better. This is one of the most expensive tools. It has a far inferior pair of scissors. It has a worse set of pliers definitely than the Roxxon. The one of the only saving graces of it is it does have an Oz8 blade, which is probably the best in its class. Other than that, I think it's designed. Some people may like it. Also, it's lightweight portability. It is a little bit lighter than most of the other ones except the Gerber Dime. Other than that, it really is a better option to buy the, the next tool or especially the Roxxon M2. The Roxxon M2 is the most versatile in this class. I think it's the best option if you want a very small tool that does it all or almost does it all. The Roxxon M2 is definitely the winner I would say. Otherwise, the Uberall looks nice. Someone has mentioned that it was discounted to $15 already at their local Walmart. If it is at that price point, I think it makes it a lot more viable. But for $30, you might want to pass.